Well, we have the nice front light, and I'm we very do. happy about this. <laughs> Every lady needs a nice light fill. <laughs> They've been doing it since the classic movies, right? This is all part of the interview. We're just getting a little pre-roll. It is. So, yeah. <laughs> He's, like, <laughs> counting me down. I'm like, no, we've already started. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> That is the best intro ever of any of these interviews. Thank so that you. was very cool. Well, you're welcome. So we got naturally. some little behind the scenes stuff there. So now we can do this for real. For real. So hello again everyone. Todd Struch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At the haunted Showboat Hotel. Let's talk about the haunting that's happening in these rooms. Uh-oh. I have a light that's flickering, and when I was when I was getting undressed, I know this is a lot last night, it started flickering, and I was like, you are a dirty ghost. I said, I did not give you permission to be in my room while I am changing into my nightgown. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There's a lot happening here at the Horicon in New Jersey. So in case the people want to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you, best interview so far. <laughs> I do have the privilege of standing here with the lovely and talented Danielle Bisutti. Danielle, how are you? I'm, and you pronounce my name so nicely, Bisutti. Oh, <laughs> a lot of people say biscotti, and they think I'm like a hard little cookie that you dunk in the in your coffee. Biscotti? There's not even a C in it. What are people? There's no, but they put they want to put a C in my last name all the time. It's okay. All right. Well, I am glad I pronounced it correctly. You did a good job. Thank you. How is the convention? going for you so, so far, far so good it's a busy Saturday which we love you know you don't want to sit and twiddle your thumbs I sure. did bring a script to memorize lines on because I go back and shoot a movie so you can always do that but you know you're here to meet fans and sign autographs and keep the energy going so it's been good fantastic so let's talk about this outfit please do you have on because it is fabulous Freddy Krueger found me this morning and had his way with my jumpsuit. Wow. Yeah. He did a great job, though. I feel like he and Anna Wintour <laughs> should have a conversation. Are you getting this whole thing here, dude? Like, Are you getting the leg? Are you getting the whole it, thing? It has, you have to do this justice. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Thank you. Because I'll tell you what. I saw you in the hallway before. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, th this is, we're at a horror convention. Is this somebody doing like a mummy kind of cosplay? Thing? You are too kind. So, <laughs> very, it is very cool. I'm not sure if that was your intention. Not in the slightest. Right. But it does have like a Elvis jailhouse rock meets the mummy. It felt very Labor Day meets horror convention. And I said, yes. And I am very glad that you did. <laughs> Because this is fabulous. Well, thank you so much. So, later on, if it seems like I'm staring, it's because that's exactly what I'm doing. It's what it's meant to do. It's meant to, prov to provoke and evoke lots of emotions and feelings. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, excuse me while I have a fanboy moment. So, Danielle, you were in a couple uh, recent, very recent horror movies, Insidious 2. You know, is horror something that you are drawn to particularly as an Not actress? in the slightest, and here's why. <laughs> I'm terrified of horror, but what I love about horror, not the slashers, I can't do the slashers. I don't like seeing blood, not even my own. When I give blood, I'm always like this. <laughs> I have to sing a song, I have to like do something to not look at it. I I love the paranormal. I love the psychological thriller. I love sci-fi. I love fantasy. I love, I, I, I love the darker elements of things, and they can be quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I like them in contrast with the light. I always like a good film that has sort of that evil and good, dark and light contrast. Mm. Um, but I'm a big Frady cat, so, so it didn't make any sense for me to end up in this world. But here I am. And I appreciate it, but I'm I'm probably the worst. Like, you know, I've seen all the greats, like, growing up with Chucky and growing up with Freddy, and they both completely screwed up my childhood, as they screwed up many childhoods. Yes, I agree. That was what they were meant to do. Sure. But, and so when I got the audition for Chucky, I was like, I knew that fucker get me. I just knew it. One day, he would come and he'd find me. But then, you know, when I had the audition for Insidious, I did, I'd never seen the first one. Mm. Um, and I didn't understand who... Like, like this legacy of 
like, I mean, the, I, how, how do you say like James Wan is, I would say the creme de la creme, like he's yeah. brilliant and Lee Wanell and Blumhouse. This is one of the greatest franchises along with Chucky to be um, involved with, associated with. But when I had to do my research and watch the first Insidious, there, there, there may have been some tears. <laughs> There may have been I I hairs on the back of my neck with that demon sharpening his nail, mm -hmm. his talon, <laughs> listening to Tiny Tim. These are things I can't unsee. <laughs> well, Tiny Tim's scary just on his own. So what was he doing? <laughs> what is Tiny Tim doing? Did he know he was scary? I like to think that he did, but the fact that that dude had a, a, a huge career, I still don't get. But who right. tiptoes through the tulips? Who is doing that? He is. I do. Oh, you do. Yeah, in the springtime. <laughs> in the springtime. I mean, who doesn't? I mean, I guess there, there are. It takes all kinds. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Best interview so far. Well, thank you. So, uh, you mentioned that you're going back to shoot a movie after being here at the convention. Are you allowed something you're allowed to talk Indeed. about? Indeed. What is that? I'm going to I'm going to spoiler it. I'm going to say the name uh -oh. because everyone in this room is going to love it. They haven't announced me yet. But I'm going to say it anyway because I don't know when this interview is coming out. Uh a couple of days. It's called The Blue Rose. Okay. It's Dave. It's a, this is how I pitch it. It says if David Lynch and Stanley Kubrick were making a 1950s film noir in the vein of L.A. Confidential, set in the world of purgatory. What? Wow. How do you explain that? I, I, I think you just did. Well, but, but you can, how do you make sense of it? I, oh, I'll, I'll just have to see it and find out. <laughs> Good luck. Any Good idea, so you're shooting that now? I am I'm currently shooting that. It was written and it's being directed by a 17-year-old young man named George Barron. This kid is so brilliant. He's got an incredible team around him. Two women uh, producing from Athena Pictures, Serena and Andra Andra Day, and also a Executive produced by Jay Von Hoy of The Witch. Wow. Jay Von Very Hoy cool. of The Lighthouse. So we've got a great team around this movie and I'm very excited to see it all come together. Cool. I will have I will be sure to look out for that. The blue rose. The blue rose, everybody. It's going to mess with your brain. All right. Anything else you're working on you'd like to tell the fans about or any final words? No, there are some top secret things I can't say, but there may be some reprises of some characters that I've done Ooh. off the record. <laughs> I'm also writing and producing. I have a psychological thriller uh, that I'm putting together as we speak, so that's fun. Psychological thriller, drama, horror, suspense. It's kind of in that wheelhouse. It's my favorite. That's my favorite. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. You're I welcome. wish you much success in everything that you do. Thank you. I will look forward to your upcoming projects. Right. And have a great rest of the weekend thank here you. at the convention. Do you know what I'm realizing? Like, I think that I'm my volume is going to be so weird. I don't know why I was talking. Because you're here, and I'm sure they can hear you. <laughs> and this is going to this is gonna be fun. It's okay. I, <laughs> editing is so much fun. Is it? That I can't wait to have to deal with that. Why do I not believe a word you're saying <laughs> right now? Th I, this isn't an honest face? No, it's not. Awesome. <laughs> it's a face a mother could love. That's the way I like it. <laughs> All right, oh, my nice God. to meet you. Danielle Bissou everybody here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. Todd Struch, the horror nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.